It's amazing coincidence story time, suckers. So a few years ago, I went backpacking across Japan. On my very first day, I flew into Tokyo uh, about late afternoon. Um, and so by the time I checked into my hotel in Shinjuku, it was already dinner time and I was super hungry. And so I literally just like dropped my bags in my room and just headed out onto the streets of Tokyo looking for something to eat. So I found this cozy little pub, this kind of down like a side street. And, you know, just went in and sat at the bar and got chatting with the bartender somehow. His English was quite good. And before long, all his friends came in, just this group of young Japanese fellas. And, you know, so I just kind of hung out with those guys for the night, which was cool. So one of the guys' names was Goichi, and he was living in Sydney at the time. Um, and so kind of we were talking about Australia. And so Goichi tells me this interesting story about apparently, as he claims, he rode a bike from Perth to Sydney, which for anyone who's familiar with Australian geography, like that's... That's no small distance. Like that's that's massive, um, and it kind of stuck in my mind for kind of being quite quite admirable. So fast forward about a week, uh, and I was down in Hiroshima at this point, and staying in a backpackers hostel and just chilling with some other Aussies that I'd met there. And I was chatting with this chick named Jane. Suddenly, this story came to mind, and I said, "Oh, you know, I met a guy in Tokyo who claims that he rode a bike from Perth to Sydney. Is that crazy?" And you can probably already tell where this is going. To which Jane replies. That is amazing. Almost as amazing as the fact that I also heard the same story. It's like, so who told you that story? And she says, and I couldn't believe this when she said it, just some Japanese guy that me and my friends were hanging out with. His name was, um, uh, Gochi, Gochi. And of course my face is just like, I probably don't need to work out what the statistical probability is that in a city of over 30 million people, Jane and I would end up hanging out with the same person to know that there's a pretty amazing coincidence. I mean, I guess it is narrowed down a little bit by the fact that we're both young people, I guess. Even if we, you know, met him in completely different parts of Tokyo, like I met him in Shinjuku and she met him in Roppongi. But of course, what, what I love most about the story isn't so much the probability as the fact that this guy clearly just like goes around telling everyone that same story. <laughs> I don't like judge him for that because it's like it's a pretty incredible feat but it's like his Shania Twain story. It's like the hey I just met you and I'm awesome story that he just whips out all the time. <laughs> By the way this phrase Shania Twain story is a reference to the film I Heart Huckabee so you might not get it if you haven't seen that film. Um, but one of the characters met Shania Twain and convinced her to eat like chicken one time without her realizing because she's a vegetarian and like this character like uses that story on everyone to try and come across as being awesome and homework for this week um, is to try and f find out what your Shania Twain story is and to make a video telling it for the whole world to know um, that that one's one of mine and you know it's about someone else's Shania Twain story so it's a Shania Twain story twice removed I guess <laughs> uh... I guess life's just on the up and up for me, isn't it?